Hello everyone. Okay, so let's talk about the string.format method. Alright, so the system.out.printf method, okay, formats our, uh, basically formats our strings for us, but then it displays the output in the console, right? So what if we wanted to format a certain value, a certain string, but then not displayed in the console, but then displayed in, for example, the JOption panes show message dialog, right? We can't, we can't use the system.out.printf to do that. In that case, the, uh, the string.format method helps us do that because it formats our string and then returns that string to us we, that we can store in a variable and use elsewhere. So let's see an example of how it works. So let's say we wanted to display a message that says, you know, simply that I make a thousand dollars a month. Okay, this is just an example. I make a thousand dollars a month. That's we want to create a program that, you know, displays that message, but then that thousand dollars is going to be formatted. So I'm going to declare a double variable. I'm going to call it salary and I'm going to set it equal to say a thousand. And then I'm going to call the string.format method. Okay, so the string this way dot format method. And the string.format method works just like the system.out.printf method. It takes in how you want to format a certain value. Okay, as a format string, and this format string will, will contain format specifiers or just regular text in there. Okay, or, or both. And then the next argument is basically, okay, the next argument or arguments, because it can be plural. Um, the next argument or argument, you can have multiple arguments. These arguments or what argument is, is, is or are going to be the values that you want to format. Okay, so in this case, I want to format this value salary. So I'm going to pass it in here. All right. I want to, first of all, format this salary as a floating point value. So I'm going to type in percentage and F. Okay, all format specifiers begin with a, with a percentage sign, and I want to format the salary as a floating point value. And then I want to format this value, okay, I want to round it or format it to two decimal places, so I'm going to specify the precision in between the percentage and the F, so I'm going to type in point 0.2 to represent the precision. I want to format this value to two decimal places. If I wanted to format it to three decimal places, I'll type in point 0.3, okay. And then I want to I want to also display for commas okay commas where necessary, so a comma is a flag, and we know that flags come first in our percentage and our and our f over here flags come first before anything else. I'm going to type in a comma here and, and comma here and the commas are going to be displayed in this value here. Um, it's going to be f formatted. This value is going to be formatted with commas displayed in it um, where necessary. And also, I want a dollar sign to be placed in front of that value, just so it looks like a monetary value. All right, so this string of format method is going to format whatever you've specified over here. It's going to format this value, okay, th this way, and it's going to return back a string. It's going to return a reference, but basically, this creates a string, and it returns a reference, okay, of that string. So when it's returning that reference, we need a place to start, and so I'm going to declare a string. Reference variable, I'm going to call it salary. Uh, let's just call it, no, let's not call it salary. Let's call it uh, string output. Let's call it string output here. Output. Okay. So string output is going to store whatever string reference is being returned from the string or format method. So this string output, okay, reference variable is going to point to that new string that is formatted. And now we can use this anywhere. We want let's display this value, okay, using the J option paints show message dialog. If we're going to use the J option paints show message dialog, then we need to import the J option paint class in our program. So up here, I'm going to import Java X, okay, dot swing, dot J option paint capital O capital J capital O capital P. Now with the job option pane, you don't you don't you don't have to create any object. You can just call. You can use the me uh, the methods in the job option pane class. So what I want to do over here is I want to call the job option pane show message dialog. So J option pane dot show message dialog. Now we know the job option pane show message dialog takes in a couple of arguments. If I'm going to type in null for the first argument, and null is basically going to display the window in the center of the screen for now. We don't have to worry too much about it for now. And then the next argument is basically what you want to display on that dialog box. 
and what we want to display is that formatted value that was returned from the string.format method which is string output so I'm going to pass in a string output to this Gjoption paint show message dialog and it's going to pop up that dialog and show it to us now <clears throat> if you refer back to the Gjoption paint videos that you know I did earlier anytime you, you use the Gjoption paint and you run and you run your program okay it creates an extra t uh, task okay which is called a thread that keeps running even when you stop your program it doesn't necessarily it doesn't really terminate it doesn't really stop your program and so you have to call system.exit to really exit your program system.exit to really terminate your program system.exit requires an exit code a number an, an exit code I'm going to type in zero this zero is going to be received by the operating system normally it's ignored but then we can check okay uh, you can check outside the program you can check this number to see um, if this program ended successfully when zero is received normally, normally zero is an indication an, an indication that the program uh, runs successfully but we need to pass in this exit code to the system.exit uh, method to terminate this program properly all right so now let's compile and see if we have any errors compile we don't have any errors let's run our program and it just displays our dialog box with our formatted value on it Right, so with a system that out the print f only it just displays the value in our console over here but if we wanted to uh, display the value formatted you know, on let's say a dialog box like this or in other places you know you can use the string of format method because it returns the string to you and you can do whatever you want uh, with it over here All right so this is just an idea we'll go through more examples going forward um, if you have any questions please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them thank you very much for watching Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.